Chief Minister, we had a common minimum program with Congress that we are going to do this, 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 this. Only then we can form a government, we can come together. And that common minimum program became the basis of giving the foundation to change the whole narrative in JNK state, not only internally as well as in Pakistan. We assured people that if we come together, we are going to revoke quota. Quota was a draconian law. In addition to as far you had quota, that if any militant was caught in a house, if there were even civilians there, you have to blast it. If you know any, you had a suspicion about any women being involved in a, any kind of anti-national, just a suspicion. You have to, you know, arrest that girl, if she's, if she's a girl or a woman or whatever. So we revoked ESPA. We made it a point in a common minimum program that there has to be a dialogue, internal with all the stakeholders, externally, because we can, as Vajpayee rightly said, we can change our, you know, friends but not our neighbors. Geography we can't change. They are there to stay. So we need to accept it and see how well we can have a relationship, a working relationship with them at least, you know, a cordial, a decent relationship because we are the people of Jammu and Kashmir are the most sufferers. So we took all those measures. So he had the experience of, you know, what India is and what, you know, we the Kashmiris, you know, what are our aspirations. That's why first he had a common minimum program with Congress, which we were able to implement and the results were for everybody to see. And then we had this agenda of alliance with BJP, wherein we should not shy away from talking about revocation as, of ESPA, when things improve, why not? We don't shy away when the situation goes bad. We don't shy away from calling for more forces. We ask them, we ask army to be more proactive. But when the situation improves, we should not shy away from the fact that we need to start revocation of ESPA from, you know, some places and see what is the impact. We need to start, you know, moving security forces camps, with the improvement of situation back to the barracks so that the places, the gardens, the orchards that are with them, we, 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 you know, are, we are able to make parks out of that. So that we are able to see that our kids, you know, as my brother Kasuduk says, that we want to see our kids, you know, chasing birds and bees and butterflies rather than, you know, stones in their hands. This is a part of our agenda of alliance. A part of agenda of alliance is that in this water treaty, is detrimental to the interest of JNK, as both our country, India and Pakistan, benefit out of it. Why can't we have transfer of our power projects to the state, which are with NHPC? Because somebody needs to compensate us. We don't expect Pakistan to do that. We expect our own country to do that. So there are so many things in Agenda of Alliance, opening up new routes, Kargil Askar, I mean, we have in China, Pakistan, they have this, you know, economic corridor, CPAC. So why can't we change the discourse, the narrative of our relationship between India, Pakistan and China? Why can't we be partners to that CPAC? Because after all, Kashmir, Jammu Kashmir was a, you know, it was a roadway, it was a gate to Central Asia and South Asia before 1947. And why should our country not benefit out of that? Why can't we have that? So I heard that Pakistan is ready to, they have offered that we can become a part of that CPAC. Why can't we move ahead? Why can't we go beyond, you know, all this, you know, skirmish that's going on all the time? So again, we have this agenda of alliance and uh, uh, we, we are hopeful that we'll start working on it. But 